God bless you, my brothers and my sisters in Christ Jesus, that's our risen Savior. Uh, we come once again, uh, thank God, we praise God, we greet each one of you in the marvelous, matchless, and majestic name of Christ Jesus. Uh, certainly, um, we praise God, we thank God, we give him all the praise, give him all the glory, because it is all due unto him. Uh, we can't give him honor because he already got that. But we give him all the praise, give him all the glory, all the thanksgiving for all the marvelous things that he has done. He's doing it right now. And Saturday, if he have us on a wake-up call list, what he will do on tomorrow. Thank him again for allowing us to be in this space again. And Saturday, we want to greet all of our uh, New Hopians and to all of our Facebook, all of our friends uh, who shares with us, our extended family, immediately family, our church family, shares with us uh, weekly uh, during this hour, during this week, during this day in the week. Uh, certainly, we thank God for you praying that you continue to be saved. And, and I can't stress that enough, not only according to the word of God, be prayerful, but in these uh, crucial, critical times that we find ourselves living in and dealing with, we got to be also watchful. Mm -hmm. And so Peter tells us that Satan goes about as a roaring lion. And so we have to be watchful of his tactics and his schemes that he does to try to divide us and cause us to get our attention of him uh, who uh, is in charge. So we thank God for you, praying for each one of you. Uh, Sending we hope and pray that you've had a blessed week so far, and uh, we encourage you to continue to hold on and continue to hold on. I don't want to bore you along today. I just want to share a word with us and, and uh, that we will continue to hold on and to look to him uh, who is able to do above a bundle that we can even imagine. Uh, let us have a word of prayer. Gracious and all wise God, our Father, we come again this day to say thank you. We will say much obliged to you. We, we, we bless you because of who you are. Ask God before we ask of anything, we ask that you forgive us of all of our sins, our trespasses, all our iniquities as we ever so before us. And Father, we, we plead and we stand at the mercy seat, asking, O oh God, that I would just forgive us of all of our sins. Have mercy upon us. God, we praying for mankind everywhere, praying for this nation, praying for this, this world in which we live. God, we risk praying that you would just look on the hearts and the, man, and the minds of man, men and women everywhere, that God, those who are still counting your way unholy, those that God who is align uh, the spirit of hatred and bickery to take the best of them. Well, they're not looking at uh, color the God as far as you see us as all your children. And the God, we just praying that for those, the God who are still sowing seeds of hatred, the seeds of bickering, seeds of division, confusion. And then God, we just pray that you would touch their hearts and touch their minds before it's everlasting too late. God, you made us and we thank you that you made us. And God, we just praying to God that you bless those who having to deal with the loss of a loved one through uh, these shootings that has taken place in these total United States of America. God, we're praying that, that you bless those families and, and that God, I pray that you would touch those persons whose mind has become satanic, controlled, who are sick mentally and who God, whose heart is, is corroded with hatred. God, I pray that you would just touch them right now even those who may be in their surrounding, who, 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 who sense and who sees this, 
the seed that Satan has planted, that they may be able to uh, make a path, make, make a call, or do something to get them some help before they harm and hurt someone else. God, I pray for those who are sick, those who are afflicted, those who are bereaved. I pray in God, you just have mercy. Praying to God for uh, just, just praying for our nation. Just praying for God, you just have mercy. Bless us now, and we're going to bless you back. We'll tell the world what a great God you are. God, we're praying that for the, for the saints, of, praying for the, the children of God who, who's standing on, who's on the battlefield, who's standing on the wall. Give us strength, give us courage to endure until, until the end. Bless us now. God, we know that you have not given us the spirit of fear, but you have given us a spirit of boldness, a spirit of sound mind. Keep our mind tuned and connected with you. Continue to cleanse our hearts with your word. Bless us, and God, we're going to continue to bless you. We're going to tell you how much we love. God, we do love you. We do magnify. We thank you for all things. Bless our New Hope Church family. And God, not only this church family, but bless Thomasville, bless Clark County, bless this state. And God, we just pray that whatever our hands endeavors to do, that you'll smile on it and that you'll give it your blessings. Come now in the person of the Holy Spirit. Touch our spiritual ears that we can hear, our eyes that we can see, our hearts that we can accept what you have to say to us on this, on this day. We ask you let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable and not say, O oh Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. All right, God bless you. Just, just want the, the saints of God, the warriors to continue to pray. I don't even want to go into details about what we seeing that is unfolding, these shootings, these uh, um, killings, and these young people are dying, and it's not just uh, by natural cause, but some senseless crimes, not just in big cities, but it's all around us. So I'm just asking and encouraging the, the, the saints of God, if there ever was a time that we need to seek and beseech God, is right now. So I want to continue looking at uh, how to know when joy comes in the morning. How to know. We hear that, I've been hearing that all of our perhaps life is that some ask the question, say, Pastor, I'm, in my, I'm, I'm having some dark, some dark days. I'm having some dark hours. I'm having some dark nights. And I, and I know what the words say about joy coming in the morning. I want to know, when do I know? When do I know that uh, my joy is going to come in the morning? Uh, I want us, want, us, want us to meditate on several passages of scriptures um, that is going to help us out with, 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 uh, with joy. Uh, I want us to look at um, Nehemiah. I want you to meditate, read Nehemiah chapter 8, verse number 10. Nehemiah 8 and 10. Isaiah chapter 35, verse 10. Isaiah chapter 35, verse 10. Isaiah chapter 49. Verse 13, Isaiah chapter 49, verse 13. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 1. That's Isaiah chapter 54, verse 1. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 12. That's Isaiah chapter 55, verse 12. Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 16. Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 16. Zephaniah 
chapter 3, verse 17. That's Zephaniah, chapter 3, verses 17. And Habakkuk, chapter 3, verses 17 through 19. And once again, that's Habakkuk, chapter 3, verses 17 through 19. All right, so go with us uh, to, uh, to Psalms number 30, and that's uh, and verse number 5. That's, that's, uh, that's the nucleus of what we're talking about. That's the center of um, passage that we want to kind of focus on, um, and that's Psalms number 30, verse number 5. Uh, turn that with us. <clears throat> Listen to what David says. For his anger is but for a moment. His favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. That's the new, that's the new King James translation of the Bible. But listen at what uh, I like the New American Standard uh, of the Bible reads. Let me read it to you again. For his anger is but for a moment. His favor is for a lifetime. It says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Well, well the new, uh, but it said, but a shout, uh, but it said the new, excuse me, excuse me, it says, but a shout of joy comes in the morning. So let's 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 uh, let's look at what that word uh, joy means. Let's, let's 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 look what that look at that word that word joy, and then we're going to look at two other words that is that is in that uh, in that verse. All right. So joy. Um, means that um, it's a, it's a, it's a Hebrew word. First of all, it means ringing cry of entreated. It means ringing a cry of supplication. It also means ringing cry and proclamation. It has to do with praise, okay? Now, what I want us to I want us to uh, to focus in on is that um, joy. When you look at different translations of the Bible, is that uh, you see uh, not only sometimes the word joy, but you see also the word rejoice or the word joyful. Okay. Not only will you see the word joy, but you see the word rejoice, and you see the word joyful. Now, those three words are very important to understand and to be able to distinguish it between joy and happiness. Now, when you when you look when you look at those words, joy, rejoice, and and joyfulness, is that you're going to find more of those words in the Bible. It just depends on your translation. If you if you if you if you um, more familiar with the King James version, is that you'll find that those words 165 times being used. If you look at if you if you study the English Standard Bible, is that it appears 430, 430 times in that Bible. When you're comparing it to happiness, is that it's only found, it's only appears 10 times. Okay? So you got so before you can really 
understand and know when joy is going to come in the morning is that you first got to know the real meaning of joy. You may want to write that down, the real meaning of joy. So, 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 so Pastor Tim, what, what is the real meaning of joy? The real meaning of joy is a state of being. If you, if, if, you want, if you look at that word happiness, happiness is not joy. Happiness is defined as something that I'm measuring my functioning upon my circumstances. Happiness usually has a deal with what is happening in my life. Are you hearing me? Happiness depends upon my circumstances. Whereas joy is measured by what we have been given. And when you, and when you, and when you really look at that when you really look at joy, when you really understand joy, the, the, the magnitude of joy is that, is that that's something that in spite of my circumstances, you ain't no, you're not going to be able to take it away. Regardless of the situation, is that, is, is that I find myself like Paul, I, I am content. I'm not going to lose my mind. I'm not going to lose control. I'm not going to lose focus on who I am and who I belong to. And when you really look at joy, is that, is that joy, the reason, reason why a, a, a strong, true believer can have joy even in the midst of that circumstance, even in the midst of that situation, is because of the grace of Jesus Christ. You'd be surprised at what some people go through and you never know that they're going through something because they're always in a joy, they're always praising God, they're always smiling. They, they always, they got to bounce. Not, 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 not that they're not going in, not, not that they don't have no rainy days. Not, not that their lives is exempted from trials, disappointment. Not that they don't have no ups and downs. But when you see them, that there, there's something about them. There's that, 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 that's a glow about them. They don't let their circumstances dictate, first of all, how they day going to be and how they going to respond in that day. The doctor report may not be favorable, may not be good news, but God, I thank you anyway. Maybe having some, maybe having some struggles with, 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 with the marriage, with the relationship, with the children. Maybe, may, may, hell may be have turned loose in the house on the job. But God, I still thank you. I still praise you. Okay. Is that is is that is that is that we can hold on to our joy, we can feel joyful, and we can rejoice with praise no matter what our circumstance, because no matter what it is that we're going on, that we going that is going on in our lives. And it goes over what we said last week. Is that God is always near us. Even if we're having a bad day, is that we're focusing on who? God. Okay, are, are, are you hearing me? So we, so we dealt last week with, with God's anger and God's favor. God is angry. 
Yes, we all get angry. If, you, if the truth be told, we get angry about what we go through, what we have to deal with. But on the other hand is that we understand that because God has favored us, God is looking out for us, is that he got everything under control. Now look quickly, look at that verse, look, look at that verse. He uses, he uses uh, two words there that I think we need to get a, uh, get a grip on. He said, weeping may endure for a night. I want, you to, I want you to take that word night out. And th let's look at that word night. But then he says, but joy coming in the morning. L let's, take a, let, let, let's take two words out there and see can we uh, get some nuggets and get some, get, get some inspirations out of it. He said, let's look at them, them two words, night and morning. And those of us who are Bible students is that we know through our scripture is that night is portrayed as darkness and a time for ungodly acts. When you get a chance, I want you to read 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 5, 7, and 8. Keep in mind, night in scriptures is betrayed, is betrayed as darkness, a time for ungodly acts. And that's what Paul told the believers in Thaskanaka. Look at what he says in verse number five. He said, children, he told the ancient believers they was children of the light and children of the day. And that they did not belong to the night or darkness. I'm just making it a little bit more simple to understand from the New International Version of the Bible. But listen to what he says in verse 7 and 8. He continued for saying, for those who sleep, sleep at night. And those who get drunk, get drunk at night. But since we belong, help us out, Paul. Since we belong, we who we are who are believers, we who are on the Lord's side, we belong to what? To the day. Let us be sober. Listen to what he says there. Putting on faith, and get this, and love as a breastplate. And the hope of salvation as a helmet. Since we are believers, is that we need to gird ourselves. You can't make it through your day <laughs> with all that is going through. Drunk. You know how somebody, when they're drunk, they're staggering, they are fall. The vision is not 2020. <laughs> may, may, you know, may say anything, may do anything when they're drunk. But a person who is sober, they're not going to be talking loosely. They're not going to be, they're not going to be uh, 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 wavering. That, that's the word I want to look, what I want to say. They're not going to be wavering. They're going to be solid. Put in the pulse, put it on faith. In love. On this, on this, on this Christian journey is that it requires us to have faith. You're not going to be able to understand and see everything and know and, and, and know and know and know everything. You got to you got to trust God. Thank you, Lord. Because, because He says faith in love.
And it's dark. It's dark in these. Now, and I, I don't want to keep going back to, the, to this, but it's dark in these un, stolen United States of America. And we don't know what may befall us. And that's why it behooves us to love everybody. That's why we got to gird ourselves. Put on the helmet, the hope of salvation. And then, then, then I think uh, in Psalms number 130, verse 6, he said, the psalmist said, during a time of great anguish, what did, he, what did he do? He said, I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than, listen to what he said, more than a, a watchman for the morning. Got to get that. Got to get a good understanding about that. I, I think it was um, uh, uh, a, um, Albert uh, uh, bon, Barnes um, who um, talks about, I think he was a, a third, um, 19th century uh, theologian, Albert uh, bon, uh, Barnes, who stated, listen to what he said. He, said. he says, the idea is that of a watcher night God who looks anxiously for the break of day that it may be, that, that they may be relieved it is not that of a person who simply look for the return of a day but of those who are on God or it may be who watch besides the sick of a dying one one who look on the east to mark the first indication of eternal life. In contrast, is that is that what 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 uh, the psalmist is saying? The Bible he, he's talking he's talking about the present day. He he talking about dawn, daylight, God and His hope. Is that I'm watching for the morning. And David says, I think in 2 Samuel, Samuel chapter 23, verses number 4, David said, the king who ruled with righteousness was, the, was like the light of morning at sunrise on a cloudless morning. Y'all know what Jesus said. In John uh, chapter 8, verses number 12, Jesus says that he is the light of what? The world. You ought to read it when you get a chance. St. John chapter 8, verse number 12. He said, Jesus is the light of the world, as are his children, and whoever follows him will not walk what? In darkness. But we have the light of life. So, 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 so you, you, you and I don't care how dark it may get in our lives, in our world. Is that is that is that is that is that is that we know something about morning? Is that I'm watching, I'm waiting, I'm anticipating morning because morning brings upon a new dawning, a new horizon. Something that we look for. That's where that word hope come, come from. It's something that I'm, I'm anticipating. I know it's coming. Oh, are you hearing me? So, 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 when, so, when, so when you look at that word night, and many perhaps who are listening to me is that it may be night in your life. Maybe some sickness. 
Maybe some loneliness. Maybe some financial difficulties. Maybe some, some marital or relationship problem. It may be night. Maybe unemployment. But when you have the joy in between, your night in your morning, is that you got to do like, like the psalmist says, is that you still got to shout. Now, and I told you, I love, I love what the new, um, the, the easy translation of the Bible say, he, he said. He said, weeping may endure, For a night, but a shout of joy. <laughs> you got to get that now. You may be in a night situation, but 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 between your night moment and your morning moment is that you got to be centered in that joy. <laughs> you 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 you're gonna get it after a while. You can't give up because there's a night that is perhaps set in your life. But that joy, I'm talking about true joy. And let, 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 I want you to write this down. True joy. Is knowing who you belong to. <laughs> Give you time to write that down. True joy is knowing who you belongs to. And when you know who you belongs to, is that is that is that you can't help but to find true joy in him, and that's the Lord. True joy comes from, from him, comes from the Lord. And let me say this, and I'm about to, I'm about to leave you alone. Is that, is, that when, is that when you have the true joy, you can't fake it. And you definitely can't, we can't earn it. Why? Because, I'm going to deal with that next week, it's a free gift. It's a gift that comes from God. And where many are stuck at, and they're stuck in between that, the night and the morning, and hadn't, and hadn't realized and, had, and have not understood that there's something that got to be in you to let you know whose you are. Because when you know, it ain't about who we are, it's about whose we are. We belong to the most high. And he can take us through whatever night that we find ourselves weeping in. And many of us, many, many have not experienced the morning yet. <laughs> because your hope perhaps may be in what's happening in your life. I don't believe y'all hearing me. And you can't base, you can't base your, your true joy on what's happening in your life. Your true joy is found where, Pastor? I'm glad you asked. In the Lord and in the Lord alone. He's the joy. That, that, that's what Nehemiah said. He's the joy of our strength, of my strength. So say that. He's the joy of my strength. He, he, the Lord, 
is my joy. He is my strength. And when I know that, it goes back to what I said earlier. We don't have to be faking it. We got a lot of people faking it. They're miserable. <laughs> They're unhappy. Ain't got no peace within. Ain't got no joy. And the only, only thing for them to do is to accept this free gift called joy. God bless you, and God keep us our prayer. And prayerfully, we we pick this back up because I want to look at I want to look at uh, what else the psalmist says in here uh, 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 about um, when how to know when 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 morning is coming. And so so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna look at two other words that is found in that. In that, in that verse so that we can be able to, to come up with a conclusion and, and when we come up with a conclusion we ought to have a remedy of knowing when uh, when our joy is going to come. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God keep you is our prayer. Let us progress us in all wise God our Father. We thank you again for your presence here. We thank you for your word. Thank you for these ears that you, and hearts that you, the word has fallen on. And God, we know your word will not return back unto you, Lord. Uh, bless us. Give us the courage. Give us the strength to continue to know that it's in you that we have complete joy. And that we have complete, we, we have complete joy that surpasses not only what is happening in our lives and around us, but we have joy knowing that in the morning is that things will be well. Bless these down your people. Bless again each home that has represented those that have tuned in. Bless them, God, even in the midst of what they find themselves going, going through. God, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. It all belongs to you. Thank you for it's in you that we move. It is in you that we have our being. It is in you that we are able to put one foot in front of the other. It is in you that we breathe, inhale oxygen, and, and exhale carbon monoxide. God, we can't make it without you. We need you. Don't leave, don't, please don't forsake us. Continue to hold our hands. It is in your sweet son Jesus' name we ask it all. Amen.